everyone, welcome back to my channel. Apologies if you hear any building work in the background. Um, they're building something opposite where I live, but anyway. So, in today's video, I really wanna to talk to you about some of the things that I learned from writing my debut novel. I published my debut novel in May 2020, and it took me just over a year to write and edit it. So there's a lot of things that I learned from that process. A lot of these things I wanna share with you today. So if you're writing your debut novel, these are the things that you need to know and can expect. So a lot of people say writing a book is hard work and when I first heard that I thought really how hard can writing a book be, all you have to do is tap out some words or write out some words, keep going until you get to the end. Was I wrong or was I wrong? Writing a book is really, really difficult and challenging. Pick the most hardest thing you've ever done in your life times it by four and that's how hard it is to write a book. I kid you not, it is very, very hard. And the amount of time and effort and energy that you actually have to put into your book to make it good, decent, to create a believable story and equally believable characters is very, very challenging. So when people say that writing a book is hard, please believe them because it really is true and it can be difficult. But on the other side of it, once you've actually written your book, it's done, it's dusted and edited and you've actually published it and you get to hold that little thing in your hands and you get to look at it, it feels so great, it feels amazing. You feel like you've really achieved something and you feel, you feel proud, you feel like, oh my God, this is something that I've started on from start to finish and when you see it in real life, it's, the feeling is indescribable. So although it does take a lot of time and effort to write a book, at the same time, once you've done it, you will feel so much better. And remember, an author is just someone who finished their book. So don't be that person who started a book and didn't finish it. Go ahead and finish it. It will be worth the sleepless nights. It will be worth the burnout. It will be worth, it will just be worth missing your weekends, time with your friends, time with your family. Just trust the process and just keep at it. It's really important for you to pick your point of view and tense before you start writing your book. Now, <laughs> I didn't do this. I just started writing my book and the first few chapters were in first person and in present tense. And then the next few chapters were in third person and past tense, so on and so forth. And I kept switching between my tenses. When it actually came to my editor who helped me with a development edit before she did a line edit, there were so many corrections that I had to make because I wasn't being consistent with my point of view, my tense. This caused a lot of issues in terms of plot holes, character development, and just issues with general pacing of the book. So I had to go back and correct a lot of things and so did my editor, bless her. Shout out to my editor, her name is Kat. She was absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for all of your help and support. But it was so difficult to then go back and chop and change everything and it took a long time to then fix those errors and problems in terms of continuity and then I had to go back and work on other bits in terms of plot holes and also to fix some of the pacing so please pick that before you start writing it's quite hard to know what point of view and what tense you want to write and if you've never written anything before and if you're a newbie author what I would recommend is do some research on different types of point of view so you've got first person second person and third person do some research of those and read some stories that are written those different ways and then you can get an idea of what you like in terms of perspective and then the other thing is to think about whether you want to write your story in past tense or present tense again I would just say read some stories in the genre that you like and see what you prefer as a reader what you prefer as a reader will normally be what you will gravitate to as a writer then what you can do is write paragraphs or so of your novel in present tense and past tense and also and say in first person and say in third person see which one you prefer which one you like and which one comes easier to you which one you're more comfortable with and then that's the one you can go for for your story you don't want to be in my situation where you've written most of your book and then you've got different tenses different point of views it's so difficult and so awkward really need to do is some character development and you can start that by doing a character profile so when I was writing my debut novel I just made a massive table and I had different column headings for my table so I had stuff around the character's first name and last name what their ethnicity was what their job was what their motivation was what their backstory was who their family were nationality was like all of this helped me to create a really clear and concise picture of who my characters were 
what they were about and what they looked like. That makes your characters a lot more real, a lot more believable. When you come to actually write them in your story, it makes your life a little bit easier because you've done that background work ahead of time. I think it's also important to do some research around character development so that you're creating a really clear character arc for your characters. So character arc normally around your character's motivation and what is their purpose for the story. So typically you will find that your character will start out with X or Y problem, then you, they'll go through the story and then you watch them as they navigate that problem and then at the end of it they will become a slightly different person depending on how they first started in the book. So make sure you do some work around that because that really can make or break a book. Nobody will write your book for you unless you write it. So your book will never get done, it will never get finished unless you actually commit to actually working on it. And that could be, you know, you batching your time so that you spend an hour or two hours a day working on your book. It could be that you may have to sacrifice some weekends so that you can actually get your book done. It might be that you have to wake up a few hours earlier just to get it done. But if you do not make the intention to set aside some time and you do not plan in some time to write your book, your book will never get finished. Now you don't have to necessarily type your book out yourself, you could do dictation where you speak into a dictaphone or you speak into your phone or some kind of device or computer and the device will actually type the words for you. That's one of the ways in which you can write your book faster but it's really important to take the time and dedicate that to your book. Otherwise you'll never get it done and you'll never get it finished. Next thing that I learned was to take breaks. Burnout is real and a lot of authors can become quite stressed and um, especially in the first half process when they're doing their first draft. Make sure you take regular breaks and regular time for yourself. Self-care is really, really important. If you do not take the time to look after yourself, so your mind and your body, your book will suffer, you won't write a good story and actually you'll find that you'll do more harm than good. So it's important to take some time out. I learned this the hard way, so there were times when I had a deadline and I wouldn't sleep, I'd be working really hard and I'd be trying to get my book finished or trying to get to the next milestone and I wasn't taking care of myself so I'd forget to eat, I wouldn't sleep or I wasn't sleeping properly or all I could do is think about my book, I wouldn't switch off, I wouldn't take breaks and actually it really affected me in the long run and my other half was the one that said, you know, Rianne, take some time out, stop thinking about the book, just put it down for a little bit and just focus on you and your life. You've got more things going on than the book. And he was right. So by taking that time out and taking time for myself, I found that when I actually then came back to writing my book, I was a better writer for it and I was a lot more better in terms of coping with the process. So please take some time out for yourself and take those breaks. The next thing that I learned was to stop comparing myself to other writers. You'll find writers who will be writing the same amount of time as you, you'll find some new writers, you'll find some more experienced writers. Don't compare yourself to others. Your journey and your writing style and your process and your voice is unique. Be yourself, be authentic, don't try and be somebody else. There's so many famous authors out there who've written tons of books who are bestsellers, but don't copy them. Do what feels right for you, write the story that you want to write and write the story that you want to read. The more you keep comparing yourself to somebody else, the more that you are stealing away from your joy, the wonderful things that you do, and all of the unique things that you bring to the table as a writer. So I know it's hard, but don't compare yourself to others and don't compare your writing process to others. Everybody writes their book differently, everybody markets their book differently, and everybody publishes their book differently. So just do what what feels right and what is best for you. Okay, so you've heard about what I learned from my debut novel. What did you learn from writing yours? And if you haven't written your novel yet, what are you doing to make your debut novel a success? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button. And if you wanna watch more videos, press the subscribe button.